Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction romantic film called Cyber Girl. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. The year is 2008. A young man called Jiro is looking at a gift store in sadness as he always celebrated his birthday alone. He goes to buy a present for himself and begins remembering the short time that he felt happy on his last birthday as a miracle happened to him right inside this mall. One year ago, while walking through the shopping center, Jiro begins noticing a beautiful girl in a very strange costume looking at him with a smile. The girl begins stealing from the store as Jiro watches in shock and quickly changes into her new clothes clothing without the shopkeepers noticing. She walks towards the man but never speaks to Jiro, only looking at him as if she knew him for a long time. The woman continues following the man even as they leave the mall, and Jiro becomes so distracted by the girl's female assets that he crashes right into a pole, proving himself to be a simp. He goes to a restaurant to celebrate his birthday and takes out the mini girlfriend that he bought for himself, but the life-size model soon walks in and crashes the party without invitation. The girl begins ordering almost everything on the menu, as Jiro starts feeling a great pain, realizing that his wallet is getting lighter by the minute. Things become even more weird after all the food has arrived, and the woman begins eating the dishes like she was from another planet, as Jiro wonders how many plates he has to wash to pay off the bill. The man almost gets a heart attack when he sees the check, but the girl tells him that she'll take care of it and demands that he wait outside. However, Jiro is shocked when he sees the woman running away from the restaurant without paying, forcing him to become a criminal as well, as the restaurant manager chases them closely behind. They are eventually able to escape the pursuers and the girl suddenly tells the man to close his eyes and makes him promise to not open them until she's gone. The woman reveals to Jiro that she's actually from the future and begins running across the street but when the man opens his eyes, he couldn't help but cry in sadness. Back to the present, a ball of lightning begins to appear in the middle of a busy street, causing numerous accidents in the traffic area as the people panic in fear. The blinding energy eventually subsides, revealing a woman who looks exactly the same as Jiro's girlfriend from a year ago. Unlike the girl from before, this woman seems to be very robotic in nature, as she wanders inside a dark alley where numerous gangsters are counting the things that they have stolen. They see the girl walking towards them and surrounds her immediately like animals hunting their prey, but quickly realizes that something is wrong as they see the woman's crazy eyes. The girl grabs onto the leader and throws him away using tremendous force while punching his other friend into the wall. The third man tries to fight her thinking that he's Bruce Lee, but gets knocked out immediately by a single punch. The woman head towards the shopping mall while ignoring all the traffics and taking the clothings away from the store by knocking out the managers who try to stop her. At the same time, Jiro is celebrating his birthday in the same restaurant as last year and is surprised to see the girl appear in front of him once again. However, he notices something very different about her as the woman begins singing robotically while shaking her head. Things get even worse as the girl smashes the man's head right in the birthday cake and blasting her champagne all over his face. Before the man can recover, a criminal begins shooting a machine gun at the crowd, causing the people to scramble for cover while the girl is able to save Jiro from the bullets. The shooter begins using the gasolines and threatening to burn down the entire place, but the girl hits him using a bottle and rushes towards the man like the Flash. She throws away the criminal's weapon and forces him to drink down the gasoline, before throwing the man towards the windows and causing him to crash outside. The woman is able to save everyone's lives, as Jiro is stunned by what just happened. The shooter continues to spit out gasoline from his mouth, and the cigarette falls into his lap, causing the man to combust into thin air as the couple leaves the restaurant. They arrive into Jiro's apartment, and the man begins cleaning his room immediately, trying to hide his tissue papers and ripping off the bikini poster. Before the man can finish cleaning, the lights are turned off and the girl shoots out a hologram into the air which appears to be an older version of the main character. It turns out that the woman is actually a cyborg, and she was built by his future counterpart to rescue him from the earlier shooting. The old man warns Jiro that a terrible disaster is coming very soon, and hopefully his robot companion can save him in the future as well. The man is shocked to find out about the girl's origins and immediately wants to do some bedtime exercises with her, but only manages to get knocked out in the process. The woman quickly notices movements behind her, which turns out to be Jiro's pet lizard, and she begins circling around the creature like a predator. The next 
next day, the cyborg decides to cook some breakfast for Jiro, but the man soon finds out that the food is made from his beloved pet, causing him to faint immediately. The robot girl decides to follow the man to class, and upon realizing that he's going to be late, she grabs Jiro on her shoulder and runs away in blinding speed. The cyborg is so fast that everyone seems to be moving in slow motion, and she manages to bring Jiro for the attendance right on time. At lunchtime, the man is fascinated by the amount of food that the cyborg is able to eat as his wallet is getting lighter once again. The girl also seems to be impervious to other men's flirting as she throws away Jiro's friend like a thieving raccoon. Later that day, Jiro introduces the cyborg to all his friends, but she has trouble pretending to be a normal girl as she quickly begins to malfunction after drinking only a cup of alcohol. Jiro rushes in to try and cover up the robot's glitching powers, but has a hard time hiding what's going on as the girl spins her head like she's from a horror movie. This forces the couple to rush out right away, leaving all his friends behind as they have trouble believing what just happened. The next day, Jiro brings the cyborg to work as she steals the food from a little kid, but what they don't realize is that a major tragedy is about to happen. A truck driver is distracted by his phone, while the vehicle charges quickly towards a young boy, but the kid is rescued just in time by the girl's blinding speed, and she walks back into the restaurant like nothing happened. Through all the time that they're together, Jiro begins falling in love as he begins dressing up the girl like a real girlfriend, and causing the cyborg to become more and more human. The man also begins trying to do naughty things to her and behaving like a real simp, but quickly gets what he deserves as he gets smacked around like a mosquito. However, having a very powerful robot girlfriend does have its perks, such as grabbing for that dollar that's under a giant bus, or studying for exams and using her as a living projector. Jiro starts taking care of her as well, as he allows the woman to sleep on his bed, but what the man doesn't realize is that the girl has been very busy at night. The cyborg often returns with dirt on her face, and Jiro can can't help but wonder why. It's quickly revealed that she was actually saving people from disasters, such as the fire that burned down the entire building last night, where no one was killed because of her. While cooking lunch at noon, the woman suggests to bring Jiro back to his hometown, as the man's older self always regretted not returning back to his village before he died. This causes the main character to fall into tears as the town was destroyed by earthquakes when he was little, leaving nothing standing as a result. The woman assures Jiro that she has the ability to bring him back as she can time travel along with the person beside her. They decide to head there immediately and the man is amazed when he sees the buildings just like he remembered. The two quickly wander into the streets where all the people are celebrating the festivals and the man begins to see familiar faces everywhere. Jiro is eventually able to find himself when he was very young, and they follow the little boy to his house, where his mother is present as well. They head towards the secret place where he put his treasure as a kid, and is able to find the photo of his family along with a gracious letter to his future self. The man is overjoyed by the memories that they're able to bring back, and thanks the woman with all his heart. They return back to modern times, and Jiro ends up in the hospital because of the effects of time travel. As he looks at the woman from afar, he begins to wonder whether if the cyborg has any true feelings feelings for him, where everything is simply the illusion of his own mind. The next day, while recovering from the hospital bed, Jiro notices from the news that police officers have surrounded a school due to a criminal who's keeping hostages inside. The man threatens to kill the teacher and all her students, but the officers are not able to do anything effective against the crime. Suddenly, a woman rushes into the building while charging up the stairs, and she's able to easily stop the man by throwing him out from the windows and causing him to crash into the ground. The police are able to apprehend the criminal, causing Jiro to smile in tears of joy as he realizes that his girlfriend is also a superhero. The man begins falling for the cyborg even more as he finally decides to lean in for the kiss, but is disappointed that the woman did not feel any emotions from their embrace. The girl offers to try again, but Jiro refuses immediately as he's very hurt by the robot's inability to reciprocate his love. Later that night, while the woman is shut down, Jiro apologizes to the cyborg as all he wants wanted was for her to say that she loves him, even knowing that this may never be possible. The man tries to make the robot jealous to incite her feelings by dating another woman, but all he managed to do was making himself feel empty inside. Things become even worse when a man begins flirting at the cyborg right in front of Jiro while asking her for a dance, and she ends up catching everyone's attention by doing the robot. The main character sees this and quickly leaves in jealousy, prompting the cyborg to follow him as she throws the other man on the floor like a spinning 
loading top. The robot girl catches up to Jiro, eventually following him towards the park, where the man tries to kiss the girl, but ends up getting slapped instead. This causes the cyborg to grab the girl and throws her into the air, making her crash into the fountain. Jiro becomes infuriated as he screams at the cyborg, accusing her of always doing the opposite of what he wants. They eventually make it to the same place where he said goodbye the first time, and Jiro shouts for the woman to close her eyes as he never wants to see her again. The man rushes away in anger, leaving the girl alone and all by herself. After breaking up with his friend, Jiro returns to his normal life, but the man can't help but feel the effects of the girl's absence. Although he begins to miss her tremendously, he knows that this is probably for the best. Despite what Jiro said to the girl, she continues to watch over him as she gives the man a pet so that he won't be so lonely and also leaving him messages on the billboard outside his window. The man is very moved by the woman's care for him, but before he can do anything else, the entire building begins to shake as a large earthquake tosses everything onto the floor. The man looks outside the window in horror as all the buildings collapse one after the other. Very soon, Jiro's apartment begins to break apart as the walls crack under pressure, causing the entire floor to break into pieces. Luckily, the robot girl is able to catch him in the last moment and protects him from all the fallen debris while the entire building is reduced to nothing but rubbles. Jiro hugs the woman passionately as he apologizes for what he said earlier, but the danger is clearly not over as the entire city is completely destroyed. The people on the streets run for their lives as the buildings fall down on their heads, causing widespread chaos in the process. The robot girl grabs onto her boyfriend and tries desperately to save his life, managing to protect him from all the falling debris as she blocks all the rocks using her body. Suddenly, a large vehicle rushes their way, causing her to throw the man away as she gets rammed into the buildings. Jiro looks at the vehicle in shock as he fears that his girlfriend is dead, but the woman is able to survive the crash as she walks out mostly unharmed. The man embraces her in happiness, but the girl notices something wrong as she sees the buildings behind them crashing down. Realizing that they don't have time to escape together, the woman pushes Jiro away and sends him crashing into a car as the entire structure falls onto her body. Before the man can mourn for the girl, the grounds begin to shake once again as a giant hole is opened up, causing the man to fall down as he hangs desperately for his life. Surprisingly, the cyborg girl was not killed by the falling buildings as she quickly regains consciousness and sees that her man is in trouble. With no other choice, she pushes against the rocks using tremendous power, causing her to rip away her lower body as she slowly climbs towards Jiro. Before the man falls into the abyss, the girl manages to grab onto the main character and pulls him away from danger, but Jiro is shocked to see that his friend is severely damaged. The cyborg tells the man to run, but Jiro refuses to leave her once again. This causes the girl to smile in happiness as she tells her friend that she finally understands what it means to love someone. However, the grounds begin to shake once again, forcing the girl to push her boyfriend away as the entire block falls onto the cyborg, causing Jiro to scream out her name in despair. When the earthquake is finally over, the main character begins searching everywhere for the girl and eventually manages to stumble upon a pile of rubble where he finds the woman's hand. Jiro is able to pull out the cyborg and hugs the woman while crying in the rain as the girl is no longer conscious after sacrificing herself no matter how much the man begs her to wake up. 61 years later, Jiro is now very old, but it's quickly revealed that he was able to revive the cyborg after decades of research and restoring her memory as well. The two are finally able to be together and the woman tells Jiro that she still loves him, causing the old man to smile once again. They are able to celebrate the man's birthday together alongside the numerous prototypes and the girl pushes the man's head onto the cake just like before. The couple look into the sunset while holding hands as Jiro eventually passes away. Many years later, a female student tells one of her friends that she found a robot in the museum who looks exactly like the girl. They rush into the room and quickly seize a statue of Jiro alongside the robot girl that he created, and the girl is amazed by how they can look exactly the same. During the auction where they're selling all the cyborgs that were created in the past, the girl managed to acquire the robot by outbidding all her competitors. She begins experiencing the memories of the cyborg and becomes moved by the robot's recollections of Jiro. This causes her decision to time travel all the way back to before the man meets the cyborg girl so that she can experience her time with the main character firsthand. When the girl saw Jiro for the first time, she immediately fell in love but she couldn't tell the man her feelings as she knew that she would eventually 
actually have to leave. The woman tells Jiro to close his eyes so that he'll not see her sadness, and the girl runs away in tears while she time travels once again. Back to the present, when Jiro is still looking for the cyborg, and the man eventually brings the robot girl into his arms as he cries in tears. What he doesn't realize is that the human girl has decided to come back into his life, causing Jiro to look at the woman in disbelief. It turns out that she never planned to go back to her time, and has decided to spend the rest of her life together with the one that she loves. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.